Hello everybody, Tiju22 here, and we're back for more Paper Mario 64. Brought to you predominantly by MuchGames.ca, also brought to you uh, uh, in part by Insomania Game and The Gaming Odyssey. And last time we were asked to come to Marlin's house, or Milan's house, or however you pronounce it, but anyway, let's go through the door. Milan is out. On a second. Anyway, uh. And. Wow, Mario just got knocked out. Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? And I had a little, um, interruption by my guest. You've been waiting for me, okay. All right, well, let's let's go inside his house. Well, of course we know that you're a wizard. An oracle came to you. Okay. Other things of which I must speak. Let's see. Was up in shooting star, but one day it happened. Suddenly a great... What is this? Okay. You can predict the path you should take for a small price. That that could be helpful, especially if you don't know what you're doing. My path must first take me to the great fortress of the Koopa Brothers. Okay, well, I knew where to go, but what to do? Well, that's exactly what we must do. So, can you please let us through? Would be a huge mistake. Oh, is that so? For something, something's very fishy about these guys. Well, you know what? Despite what they say, I'm I'm gonna ask for help anyway. So. Yes. Yeah, I'm gonna need to pay it anyway. So what do I need? What is this, a disco? What the hell is this? Well, I mean, this is a good demonstration of what happens when, uh... Well, uh, let me just ask him personally. That shouldn't be. Okay, so another thing you should do is, of course, talk to him personally. Um, but yeah, that's a good demonstration of uh, how his powers work. So if you do get stuck, do talk to Merlon. Q ordinary toads. Oh, I like I buy that. What? They were the Cooper brothers this whole time? Indeed we shall. Oh. To get... You need the help from a blue-shelled Koopa. 
And of course, he's going to give you that information whether you bought his um, fortune or not. But uh, that's a little extra that he, he gives you. But other than that, uh, a strange portent. In Koopa Village, you might find something that will clear it up. Yeah. Um, so we need to find a blue-shelled Koopa, as he says. If that's the case... Uh, let me go to the Toad House really quick. I'm just going to heal up very, very quickly. I, I would like to take a nap, if I may. Alright. That's exactly what we're going to do. So, another thing I should mention is that as far as my recording sessions go, I will go until either time runs out or whenever I complete a, uh, a chapter. Uh, not when I start one, but when I end one. Or at least, it, it really depends on uh, what is the end and what is the beginning. Um, but that's really up to my discretion, really. So, with that said, let's go into the great beyond. Okay, so this is officially the beginning of chapter one. So, um, with that said, Storming Cooper Brothers Fortress. So, now, and of course if you want to go back, you can, but why would you want to do that? And of course we have some Koopas, and these do not look like your uh, standard average Koopas. But while we do that, I'm just going to take out this Goomba. Let me see if I can get this. Okay, that's, that's how you do it. But before we do anything else, let's uh, let's tattle this guy. This is Koopa Troopa. Everyone knows Koopa Troopas. Yeah, everyone knows who he is. They have uh, an attack power of 1, but they also have a defensive power of 1. If you flip them over, their defense will fall to 0. And it will become much easier for you to defeat them. So yeah, you can either use a POW block or a jump attack. But I would recommend using a jump attack... Um, uh, unless there's multiple of, there's multiple Koopas, then, oh, um, okay, then you can probably use that. But I would recommend using that for, like, um, big enemies. Enemies that, enemies that would be much more suitable for that sort of thing. There we go, now you got him. And I'm gonna jump on him again. Well, didn't matter, but at least we got that one. So we got some more money. Okay, well another one bites the dust. Got him. Oh yeah. And sometimes you might even get hearts out of it, so... Let's see, nothing here. What do we got here? The Dizzy Attack Badge. Oh yeah, that's right, um... It makes... It, I don't know how you do that. Uh, no, 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 no. Let's see. I wonder if you can use it. Let's see, let's see if I can use it. Let's see. I wonder what happens if I use it, uh, the attack badge. Let's see. Oh, just makes it different. Well... I mean, it's okay, but it's not something I'm gonna use, so I'm just gonna take it off, but... Anyway, let's go. Ooh, a Fright Jar! Which I'll use for, like, multiple enemies or something like that. And a POW Block. Definitely gonna use that. Ooh! Let's hit the Switch! The Nintendo Switch?! No. But it's kind of unique how they do that. Alright, now we are dealing with multiple ones. Uh, I may as well explain that whenever you're dealing with multiple enemies, you have to take into account the status of the enemy as well as how much health they have and what they can do. So that's always something to take into consideration. Okay, so I, I did it too early. Alright. 
And... and of course I'm not doing a good job um, multi-hitting him. Well, let's just take him out. There we go, we got him. Alright, so he stand he stood back up, so let's get him again. Alright. Well and of course uh, if he's on the ground then he wastes a turn. And uh, he's defenseless, so he uses up a turn because he's defenseless, so that's another thing I should mention. But I'm just gonna hammer this one right away. Got him. So we got him. Awesome. Let me just get these coins. Oh, and there's a, a there's a a hidden enemy there. All right. So really, the only way you can beat these guys is with a hammer attack, and with the action command, we can take them out in one blow. And right now, there's not much he can do, so I'll just have him do nothing. And, we're re and by timing his attack, we reduce the amount of damage by one, so that's good. But these are just good examples of what to do now that you have the action command. Okay, well I didn't get him there. Uh, let me switch. I'll have... Goombario attack the Goomba. And take him out. And then I'll use my hammer on him. And take him out. So yeah, it's little things like that. You have to plan ahead and... Just go from there. Oh yeah, and let's see what's down here. There's usually little things like this down here. And unfortunately, we cannot jump across. Uh, I could try, but it's not even going to let me do it. So, there's not much we can do about that. But we can get this. The Sleepy Sheep. How many items do I have right now? I have... How many? Okay. Wait, one, two, three, four. Okay, six, seven, eight, nine. Wait, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I have eight, but the most you can have is, uh, ten. Oh, and I got hit! Oh, and there's three of them. Okay. Well, whoop de doo Because this is exactly what I'm going to do to you. Let's put you guys to sleep right now. Now, of course, how effective this is, well, let's see, how many fall asleep? All of them do. Because another thing I should mention is that sometimes it will not work. Because, well, sometimes they can miss all together. And sometimes it may not hit all the enemies. It might just hit some. And others, not so much. And out goes the Paragoomba. I mean, we flipped him over, but that's all we did. Okay, so we just have to continue beating him up. Actually, let me switch. Oh, thanks a lot. Alright, I'll just, I'll just destroy him. So he's gone. Alright, now it's our turn again. Because again, he used a, up a turn in which he was asleep, so... There we go. So yeah, that's how useful items can be if you use them properly and for the right reasons. Okay, there's nothing here. But it's always a good idea to check some of these, because you never know. Oh, there's a, a coin block. Very nice. Okay, let's go down there. And over here, yes, we can go to the fortress, but there's not really much we can do. Oh, what's that over here? Oh, a honey syrup. Let's see, if I go around here, what happens here? 
Oh, that's pretty cute. Well, that's a good way to get hearts if you need hearts, but... Let's see. Well, again, we need to get a blue-shelled Koopa from Koopa Village. So that's exactly what we're going to do. And if I'm not mistaken, you will need this uh, this Koopa, whoever he is. And apparently you can't even get on this patch of grass for some reason. I don't know why. Oh! And we get Attack FX B badge, which, again, I'm probably not even going to use, so... Whatever, I'm not going to cry about it. Oh, yes! You're in big trouble. The fuzzies? They look like that? They're really naughty. And they take your shell. There we go. Knocked one of them out. Talk about embarrassing. Watch your overalls. So, we have this... Oh, a dry shroom? And of course, there's the uh, shell. Oh wow, we actually got one. All right, let's 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 uh, solve these problems here. So yeah, apparently if you hit uh Oh, and we have a turtle uh, uh excuse me, a Koopa leaf, uh which you can only find in Koopa Village. So I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to stop right here until next time. This is to 22 and we're going to find out how we're going to solve this problem right after this. Stay tuned, guys.